Hello, it's Rachel. In today's video I'm going to be making some shrink plastic embellishments using a combination of Lucky Squirrel translucent shrink plastic and some stamped images by Woodware. The shrink plastic has been cut out using some Spellbinders dies into various shapes which I've matched to the images that I'm showing you now. These are some stamps that are quite recent additions to my collection so I've not played with these yet and I thought this would be a nice opportunity to do so. For the stamping on all of these embellishments, I've chosen to use Archival Ink in Jet Black. This is because it is a permanent and waterproof ink and I know that it is going to be easy to apply to the slick surface of the shrink plastic. On the first of the images I've chosen to use some pan pastels. Now I have previously used chalks to colour shrink plastic but I hadn't experimented before with pan pastels. The colours on other mediums tend to be very vibrant but on shrink plastic initially the colours are quite subdued and muted. Um, once you heat the shrink plastic the colours do intensify quite significantly although I would not say that this was my favourite medium to work with. I found the pastels um, were a little messy and there were times when I needed to grab an eraser and just erase some parts of the chalk that had, the chalk dust had um, gathered onto the background. So you can see I'm working with a tissue under my hands there and that's just to try and prevent some of the chalk from going onto the background surface. So this was an okay medium to use. I much prefer the second medium that I choose and stick to for the rest of the embellishments which was to use Prismacolor pencils and you'll see that coming up shortly. And once the colouring is done onto the fun part to see what we get. I've chosen to use a Ranger heat tool for this rather than one of the nozzle type heat tools because it has a um, reduced airflow so it's not as intense and it's less likely that your shrink plastic is going to blow away whilst you're trying to heat it. I also have a stamping block handy to flatten it after the shrinking process is complete. So as indicated earlier in the video I'm using Prismacolor pencils for the remaining pieces and I'm much happier with the results of these. They're less messy to work with, um, you can colour in more intricate details with colour pencils as well and the colours tend to be more predictable and more vibrant I think so this would be my choice of medium really for shrink plastic but I did want to experiment with the pan pastels just to see how they reacted and hopefully that's a, a learning process that is useful to other people too.
and once again onto the fun part of heating it and I really like how this one came out the background colour is more solid and intense than when using the chalks which didn't really cling to the background very well and so I was much happier with this one For the next two pieces, again I'm sticking with the Prisma colour pencils but each of these ones have a plain background so I didn't add any colour at all to the background and I think this is my favourite look with shrink plastic. So this one here I filmed, unfortunately the second one um, I accidentally did not film, I thought I'd press record and hadn't so that happens sometimes but you will see the result at the end. and. Hopefully this is something you, that you've enjoyed. And here are the finished embellishments. I'm going to use these for a variety of different things. Some of them I think I might attach to cards. Um, I might possibly stamp the image onto cardstock, the main image, which is obviously much larger, and then use the smaller shrink plastic embellishment in combination with that. Um, in the past, I've made them into pins. Um, I've punched holes in them and made them into pendants, things like that. So there's lots of different ways that you can use them and they're just a fun little project and a different material to work with and I hope you've enjoyed that today.